Hey traders, this is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group with a quick trade idea video. And um, I'll start with the media ETF. This is PBS, Paul Boy Sam. Uh, this is the PowerShares media portfolio. And uh, you can see what it's doing here. It's, uh, it's breaking out. So really strong pattern to the upside here. So whenever I see something like this, uh, a breakout in a sector, um, what I do next is I analyze what's in it. So, you know, small little company had earnings on Monday, which was basically a, a breakout uh, called Netflix. So <laughs> uh, if you look at what's in this ETF, um, Netflix is the top weight in it. It's 5.5%. However, it is not a huge overwhelming weight. It's not something that's going to skew the overall ETF. It will have an impact, but it's not a 20% weight. You could kind of see there's a bunch of other companies that are driving their performance. So when you start to dig in here a little bit, uh, you could see that CBS is in here. I believe Dis Disney's right here, so Disney's the fifth weighting. So when you start to look at some of these names, uh, one of which stands out to me is Disney. So I was actually just showing this. You know, just looking at the the moving averages alone, you know, in a pretty un uncomplicated chart, you could see over the last year Disney's been up, and then it kind of cracked a bit in May. However, what, what has it been doing the last month? It's been consolidating on the 200 day moving average. So some real nice support here. And it's been following this uptrending 200 day moving average. It's got a little bit of uh, overhead resistance with that 200, uh, excuse me, with the 100 day moving average. But um, I think it's worthy of a shot here. So I don't have the 100 day moving average drawn on this chart, but I, but I also have the moving, um, not the moving averages, but I also have the, uh, the value areas, which we see a break above the value area. So pretty easy looking um, setup here versus this support. You know, we're gonna be in August soon, but it's almost the same value area. So I would really watch this level 106.58. And what I did was I structured a trade uh, for the next couple months. Uh, it does, I believe Disney does report in, let's see, just around the corner, 8-8, eight, eight, so August 8th. Um, you know, for, for these options, they're not terribly expensive. So I did structure a trade out to January. So when we get to earnings, I'll figure out what to do with the trade. But I like the 110, 115 call spread in September. Uh, that's what I did today. I sent it out to Tribeca Trade Group subscribers. Uh, I put this trade on for basically, where's my cost basis? A uh, dollar eight. So, you know, you have the upside. If it does happen to get here, I think the risk to reward is pretty nice. So where did I set this? So I'm not looking for a 52 week breakout. I'm just looking for this to reclaim some of this downward move. So I like the setup. It's a good, uh, you know, I'm always looking for things uh, or names that are a little bit out of the tech sector right now, especially considering I think it's really hot, maybe due for a little bit of cool, but uh, cool off. But if you're just looking for, for another name that can kind of uh, complement some of your high flyers that you have that have been doing performing really well right now, in case we do get a little bit of a rotation, maybe this name gets a, sees a little bit of rotation into. So Disney, I'm long the September 110, 115 call spread. Additionally, besides this one, uh, we also look at CBS. Uh, there was some nice option activity today in CBS. Uh, I always view it as pretty bullish when you see a combo when you see calls which look like they may have been purchased uh, Jan the January 70 calls possibly purchased maybe they I'm not sure what they did with this one maybe this one actually is a call spread the January 70 77 and a half call spread and it looks like they sold puts here going against the bid side so CBS you kind of line this up with with what they did here the 70 and higher so you know could cbs get to those 52 week highs i think that's possible by january um could it get to 77 and a half probably less likely so i like what they did here i like this the january 70 70 and a half call spread and they were confident enough uh, by the looks of it to sell some puts against the trade uh, where would this trade not work again i think if you look at this uh this 200 day moving average and let that be your stop 
or once we get into October, this is a developing value area, but you could have a tighter stop of maybe around 64.86. So there's a couple ideas in the media space, something a little bit different. Uh, Disney and CBS, I put on a trade in Disney, no position in CBS, but also think it's compelling here. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great night.